the mystery of what was boring the stems of my yacon and my sunflowers is solved and that's thanks to uh, a professor of entomology at Kansas State University his name is Professor J.P. Michaud he stopped by uh, one of my other videos and gave me some great information and uh, helped identify uh, the larva that I cut out of my sunflower stem. I'd kind of like to give a backstory to this video so those people who find this one and not the other ones won't be totally lost. This all started when I found a stem borer in my yacon. Well, actually, almost all the stems of my yacon. I'll show you that real quick. And there's what I found. Then I did, started doing some research thanks to Anthony uh, pointing me in the right direction by mentioning that uh, sunflowers were in the same family as yacon. And that's when I uh, did the video uh, and mentioned that I suspected it was probably the longhorn beetle larva or the root moth uh, larva. And then I did a third video when I uh, cut the sunflower stem open and found the borer that the professor identified. I'll show you that now. Get a better look at it here. The professor said that most likely uh, the larva was that of the sunflower root moth. And then there was another one that was a possibility, and I'm not going to attempt to pronounce the scientific name, so I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen now so you can see them. He said there were more than a dozen species of insects that bore the stems of sunflowers. And uh, there's one good thing to note though, they don't affect yield unless the uh, sunflower lodges and falls over. So unless that happens, um, you're gonna do all right. And here's the information that I latched on to the most is I think a great tip for anybody that grows sunflowers in our area. He said that all of the uh, stem borers and sunflowers have only one generation per year except for the sunflower bud moth. So if you wait till the second week of June in our area and plant then, uh, those other species of insects uh, will seek out wild hosts and won't bother your sunflowers. And while we're talking about entomology, I've got butterflies and Japanese beetle and I noticed a blister beetle. Oh, there's a blister beetle right there. So I've got bugs crawling all over the place. But um, the professor also mentioned that sunflowers originated in the high plains, so they have more pests here than anywhere else in the world. So <laughs> I guess we're just the lucky ones. This is fitting that we end where uh, the journey began with the Yacon. And thanks to the uh, excellent tip about the stem borers seeking out hosts by the second week of June, I know that I won't have to worry about them the rest of the year. And they're starting to grow pretty well and they're looking great, except for that small one over there. But I just want to take one last opportunity to thank uh, Professor Michaud uh, for taking the time to help me out, well, help us out. I think it'll, it'll be a, a 
great service to anybody that finds this video and is having the problem uh, to be able to uh, know what's going on and such. So thanks a lot, Professor. Really appreciate the help. And hopefully nobody will have this problem with their yacon or sunflowers, but uh, now with the information he's provided, we know a little bit better how to handle it or not. I know I mentioned that before, but the entomology department uh, at K-State, they have an excellent uh, website. It's great for trying to identify crop pests. I mean, I'm growing corn, cotton, and sunflowers, and they have uh, extensive list of pests on all of those and as well as, as those they have alfalfa, canola, sorghum, soybeans and wheat so it's a great place to learn I've learned a lot just by uh, visiting there I'll put a link down in the description box so you can check that out I would highly recommend it